Who's your rugby hero? Um, as a kid growing up, although this is quite relevant to what because I'm I now play in his position, but uh, Christian Cullen, I used to love watching him in the in the Super 14. So I used to stay up with my dad and watch that on, on the Saturday mornings or, or on the Trans World Sport. And I used to love the way he used to run and attack and score tries for fun from 60, 70 meters out. And he was a, a massive inspiration as well as probably Jason Robinson as well, another guy that used to be able to create nothing, uh, create something out of nothing. And, was a brilliant finisher. We see with 12s in those heads. So yeah, see with 12, yeah. Uh, best current player outside the England squad? Um, best current player? I think it has to be Danny Carter from New Zealand 10, just because, you know, he's, he's one of the best runners, kickers, whatever. He's, he's got he's the whole deal, so Daniel Carter. Toughest player at the moment? Has to be Lewis Moody. I think just because he's just a nutcase and uh, he just doesn't mind getting his head kicked in. It's what makes him so a brilliant play. You know, you know that Lewis has had a good game if he comes off with two black eyes and uh, four stitches in his, under his cheek. And uh, I just think that's mental because I've never had a stitch in my life, touch wood. But I'm um, definitely Lewis. Uh, biggest tackler in the game? Uh, I don't know if he still plays. Trevor Le Leota, he used to be savage in the tackle. He used to write people off. I'll never forget that YouTube clip of him folding up that Scottish guy and, and breaking him. Um, but also, Seb Sebastian Chabal, probably from the current game, just because I remember at Sale when he used to fly out the line and smash people. Just, I've never been a big hitter myself, but um, God, he used to. I've been smashed myself, actually. If I had to pick a, a someone who, who's hit me, Henry Tuolangi. Uh, oh, was it Henry? Yeah. Yeah, Henry Tuolangi. Jesus. He wrote me off. You can check that out on YouTube as well. Uh, Tried to be all the hard man and like get up from it, but I was like seeing 50 of him and just. Oof. Still got a bad neck actually from that. So cheers, Henry. <laughs> Your best skill on the training ground? Um, my best skill on the training ground. Um, I'd probably say like my, my best attribute would be my feet and, and my you know I really haven't got many skills. <laughs> just a good runner with the ball. So uh, probably just the, the ability to beat players one on one. Uh, England or the Lions? Oh, it has to be England. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite ground to play at? Um, I, this is, it sounds corny as it is, but it has to be Franklin's Gardens because I've played there, I played there under 21s and, uh, and other games. And I just, I love the place. Um, Piggy Powell has the pitch and literally it's like a carpet. You know, we're not allowed to walk on it now at the moment because it's just, it's the hollow turf. So I love Franklin's Gardens, the best place to play. Funniest England teammate? Has to be James Haskell. He's always good. You know, if you're ever bored, you just need to sit next to him, ask him a few questions and and listen to him rabble on about some story that happened in San Diego or Texas or some sordid story. What's your favourite Wolf Blast wine? Um, for me, it's probably the Yellow Label, uh, probably just the Shiraz, Shiraz. And who would you most like to share a bottle of that with, um, other than your girlfriend? My captain, Dylan Hartley, you know, he's always got something interesting to say. He's very inspirational as well. And plus, he's standing right next to me. <laughs>